The observer would like to advise that the following video comes with a trigger warning. The content in this video is of a sensitive nature, so please beware that the topic of this video may trigger you. The observer recommends that you consider your own mental health before you watch this video. <laughs> right, I've been so excited all day over these pictures, it's been unreal, and I'm not even joking. Like, oh, um, uh. <laughs> don't be doxing yourself or anything like that. I know, I just did by accident, my bad. Right, where's the first one that I wanted to show? Imagine if you cut that. Oh, I'm gonna have to change the layout. One minute, I'm gonna have to make you a tiny box. Yeah. No, oh, nobody put secret hate in the corner. Oh, for fuck's sake! You know, if I, I wait there. I'm meeting. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is how interesting it is. You need popcorn, ice cream, everything. Um. If you turn the camera around to like face, like the floor, it is a green. Yeah, there's a green screen that has like the one I use that has like the lights on. That shows the um. Let me see if I can remember which one it is. Um, it's the green screen with like the f the f the person's shadow behind the box. This one. Yeah. Yeah, and then change the picture. It should. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Can you give me something? Can I have a game now? What did you say, Justin? <laughs> no, but we'll what? let you just decide what what you think is wrong in this picture. What's what's wrong with this picture, guys? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. It's recent and it's from a reliable source, but I'm not giving out names. Mm -hmm. They want to be anonymous. Daddy. Daddy. Right. Daddy. <laughs> right, what I'm going to say here is you don't need to make it out. It, you can see that it's a menu. Daddy. If and it's, she says best place ever, Daddy. but Kirsten can't eat. Daddy, if we win, yes. It's, it's, just, it's a restaurant on Just Eat. So that it's it's just it's just a menu of food from a restaurant, but she obviously says best place ever. But you know she's solely to you know she based on thin what was it thin liquids only. Mm hmm. She can't eat though. But yeah, there we go. She can't eat. Yeah. <laughs> Alice said first bit of truth out there. Mouth up place was lush pasta. <laughs> What? Um, Ella said first bit of truth out of her mouth, the place does lush pasta. <laughs> yeah, she said you don't deliver in her area either. Um, what's next? I know what's next. I mean, she's been out. Oh. <laughs> Ignore the arm, guys. Look at the leg. See that gap in between their pillow and their leg? Look at the leg. Not the arm. Ignore the arm. The arm's not there. Her leg's lifted up so she can rest her arm on it. Ignore the arm. 
plus can we just point out that no, no, the amount of cannula attempts in that arm? Okay, that's not good. Yeah. But obviously, the main point is, you know, the legs. Even if she's got her legs crossed, they would, they wouldn't be. Her knees wouldn't be up because her legs would. Although the cross, the knees would be up slightly, but one hundred percent not to that. Daddy, I just took the iron chest. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. I've heard it looks like scratches, like a rash. Can you show the rest a minute? I don't believe you. You show the rest. I'll make you a big screen. Let me go and save them. Sorry guys, I was just I was just saving them. Um Yeah, so obviously the first two is um that first one was, you know, the just eat just eat wait there, yeah, I'll say oh, fuck's sake. Right, there we go. Um, let me just get that green screen up. That wasn't me farting, by the way. That was me pop socket. Green screen. So right, I'll just go over the ones that Casey put up for anyone who's joined. So, um... This is a message and it's a menu on Just Eat of a place by her and she says best place ever. Now it is a food menu, it's a food shop but remember she said that she can't eat. She is solely tube fed and only has clear liquids but yet she's ordering on on just eat that is the newest place but so nice um ella said before that the pasta's banging uh someone also said that someone also said that they don't deliver um it, but obviously i don't know that because i'm not from around there but um but it's a new place Oh, this doesn't, yeah, our one doesn't deliver. Windsor has the one that delivers, so that means, oh, you've had that, oh, it might be different then, might it? it might be different parts. I mean, whether, whether she's had it delivered or whether, you know, someone's collected it, it's still the fact that she can't eat, she says she doesn't eat, but yet she's, you know, talking about... 
how this food place is the best play, uh, place ever. And let's be real, she's probably going to try and say, oh yeah, will I get drinks from there? You would not go on a menu to get a can of 7-Up. So let's just debunk that before she comes out with that shit. That's, that's, you wouldn't do that. You'd literally just get it from a shop. So she's obviously ordered food. Um, what was the other one? Um, this was another one now not looking not looking at the arm in particular it's more she'll say her dad says it well apparently her dad was on her snapchat the other night um yeah most takeaways you have to have set amount don't you a minimum spend my gingerbread man won't come back again he's lost oh <laughs> free gingerbread man <laughs> I was wondering then, I was like, oh, there, oh god, jump scare. I had my camera turned the wrong way around, that's why. Uh, so it was just in terms. If a gingerbread man did pop up, it would have been Oliver. Oh, I'm zoomed in again. You're not here. Do you want me to jump, jump, jump down, jump up? No, it's all right. It's and then make me small and then make me big. No, carry on. You're all right. Okay. It's good. Um, I'm just recapping for the people who joined. Yeah. Um, her leg in this picture. Look at the gap between the pillow, the mattress, and her leg. Now, even if her leg was, what was the place name? Because I can check the delivery. I'm not actually sure. I, I can't remember the name of it. Um, but her leg. Her leg in this one, is raised like she's leaning her arm in it like i don't understand how her leg is just levitating and we do know she crosses her legs but if you cross your leg if you cross your leg uh if you crossed your <laughs> leg and you, your legs don't work naturally they wouldn't sit raised like that if you, if you get what I mean, they wouldn't be raised and, like, higher. The only way her leg could be higher like that is, A, if she used her, heart, her arm, but obviously one arm is there and the other's on the camera, or, B, she is physically lifting her leg up with her leg. Kirsten slipped up earlier. She said an NG can't drain out, but it can come up the other tube. What she's saying that what did I say? NG and an NG can't drain out, but it can come up the other come up and out the other tube. Oh, what? so if she slipped up by saying, "Oh no, it doesn't drain out, but it does in the other tube." Is it not resting on the sidebar? See. The, the thing is with that, if she's got her arm on her leg resting and it's on the... It can't fully be on the sidebar because you can tell by the spatial difference. Um, it's almost like the top of her kneecap is probably just touching the bar. But if she's got no, you know, no feeling, no, no movement or nothing, her arm would knock it down so it would be lower. And also the, the amount of cannulated attempts in her arm. I doubt very much. And Carly, uh, Carly, Kirsty, you said this. <laughs> Look at the ginger in Bob's face. <laughs> uh, you said this as well, didn't you? Like the hospital wouldn't jab you that many times. Yeah, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Um, not many places. Like three but times it, and that, that's it. Yeah. You don't continue. I was just that, impressed that Carly got a shout out. That's why I did my happy face. I always shout out Carly. Yeah, Carly. yeah Carly got a shout out. Hey, <laughs> Carly. Carly. It's your birthday. We're going to put... She's growling at you. Yeah. Oh, okay. I take it back. <laughs> but yeah, which one should I show now? Whichever one you want to, crack on.
Oh no. <laughs> um. Huh? Observer, did you get my message? <laughs> we'll show this one because it's just a bit more funny, yeah, more than anything. So this is her low blood sugar. <laughs> what is the time that everyone can see? Can people see the time? I'm going to do what you said, Kirsty. I'm going to like rather than be like, look at this, look at this. 1342. So just keep that in mind, people. 1342. Let me just let me just check one minute one thing. Let me just check. Ma, what are you checking? What's she done? I don't know what she's checking. It might not deliver to her, but in that messages, she's clearly been there because it's the best place ever. You know what I mean? Might deliver to a dad. I just needed to, sorry, I just needed to check. Um, because there's some things that can't be shared, so I just want to check. So, 1342. So now, what are people's thoughts on this? Okay, okay. I just want to double check because I don't want to be like... <laughs> Does anyone know what the difference is? Yeah. <laughs> 90 minutes later, she's saying she's got low blood sugar. <laughs> so she took this picture at 13.42 and an hour and a half later, she's sending it into the group saying she's got low blood sugar. Which at this point, you know, if you've had 3.4 low blood sugar an hour and a half ago and you've done nothing about it, you need you need to get some help because... It's obviously dropped more. Let me just have a scoop of me McFlurry because it's melting. <laughs> While everyone digests this information. Sorry guys, I need some sort of snacks for this. Is that film? Oh, cold. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so it says thirteen forty two underneath the three point four number. Yeah, this evidence is from a trusted source. I mean, you can see it's definitely her pictures anyway because her wheelchair and her walls and that's a living room cabinet. Talking about a cabinet. <laughs> or a trolley. <laughs> I love how easy these are just falling into each other. <laughs> it's a gingerbread man's face now she says this is her cabinet that has her 44 medications in now we worked out that there's five bottles of medications there and they're all the same medication is that when she kicked it over um i'm not sure but it was more than the medication. 
these are supposed to, you know, she says this is all <laughs> of the ginger red man's <laughs> finishing me off. I can't. I can't. Okay. <laughs> Kay is live. Where's my other phone? I just want to put it on so I can see if. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> I want to see if, if, you know, people are going back and telling her and how she reacts. But, um, yeah, I don't, if anyone can distinguish this, the, these little, oh my God. <laughs> Why does that always scare me? <laughs> it just scares these stuff. <laughs> Every time you do that, I'll be a little. <laughs> Someone has to make the screen bigger, so I did. I know, but it's when I don't get worn, it just it changes. It does something to me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Leave my eyebrows alone. <laughs> you know, <I'm> not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but does anyone know what these bottles and medications are? Because. They're all the same, and there's five of them. Like, there's no other medications. There, she claims this is a medication tray as well. Look, like laxative bottles. We do know she has laxatives. I want to clean it up. Everyone's saying laxatives are cowpole. My lactose comes in those bottles. <laughs> yeah, so it is, but we do we do know she has the issues with the bowel, so that. But then, where's all the other bottles and medications and all these forty four different meds that she has? I spot a cannula dressing too. See, and after this picture, she come to get Dad to clean it up. <laughs> cannula dressing. Why is she using dis disposable cuts for? Think of the penguins. The pots, yeah, the pots were on Amazon wish list. No pharmacy info on the bottles. Need the door on the floor in the white box. Oh, yeah. I ain't got my glasses on, so I'm like literally kissing all of you, so I'm that close. Oh, yeah. That's strange. So we don't really know what happened with this picture, but it's just, you know, there's not many medications like she claims there is. The 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 bottle just means the medication is sensitive to light. The little bottles will be weekly prescriptions prescriptions. As someone who was a dispenser, some of those are plain brand bottles you fill up yourself. That's very interesting. That is very interesting. Because surely if she was getting prescri prescribed bottles, she wouldn't need to put them in little brown bottles. Hmm, interesting. I don't really know where to go next. The fluid. <laughs> oh, don't, because I'll wee. <laughs> this is a funny one. They are funny. Now, I'm not going to tell anyone this, but spot the difference. Like, spot what's wrong with this next picture. I can't breathe. <laughs> My mouth is... First one to guess it gets a, um, a hug. Justice for the trolley. <laughs> oh, someone guessed it. Kirsty, send me the link to the bottles. What bottles? I haven't got any bottles. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> yeah, everyone's guessing it correctly. If you look at the writing, it's in a different language. Now, I can't really comment on this because I've never had... I can't ideas. check my messages. I'm on here and it won't let me. If I were to check my messages, I'll have to disconnect the live. 
I've never had IVs at home. Uh, sorry, I've never had IV flu flu fluids at home. But Kirsty, you can confirm that it doesn't come in foreign writing, does it? Does it anyone not. I've never had fluids for Carly in a foreign language. How do they know what's in it? <laughs> you know what I mean? But no, never. Now we go on to Rom. Yeah, does anyone know the language as well? But you'd think that it'd have to be in English because obviously the NHS is English and it'd be dangerous given something like that. Looks Polish, German. German. I've done German for three years, don't know anything, so bought on TikTok shop. <laughs> Those med bottles you can buy empty. Is that what becoming me just sent me on the link? So she's obviously took a picture of her fluids and maybe not realised that it's in a foreign language. Now, I don't know if anyone here, you know, who knows about, obviously, Kirsty said her experience, she's never had foreign fluids. Has anybody else ever had IV fluid bags with foreign writing on? Because then at least we can say, oh, well, maybe it does happen. She's really not happy today. I wonder why. No, 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 no. It's German, someone's Googled it, never. So it's got to be English, 100%. It's not out of date, I don't think. I think that's the 4th, 2027. Scan the QR code. It's, oh my God, yeah. It's a QR code. The NHS can't for safety reasons. You guys just picking at everything, even things that mean nothing, like the bottles. All we're doing is debunking things from medical perspectives, from people who know these things. Because what she's doing is dangerous. That's all we're doing. German saline. So she's got German saline. I wonder where you would get that from. Vets occasionally have foreign ones if short supply. Oh. Kirsty, someone said they're a dispenser. They can jump in the box and explain quickly. Is that about the last picture? Who? Which one? Miss, uh, mis misunderstood. Okay. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? I've never gone live before. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, we can. Yeah, so I've um, worked in dispensing for 15 years. I, I stopped last year and um, I don't know regarding saline but when you have medication from a foreign country it's called a parallel import but on those parallel imports there legally has to be an English label so I don't know about saline but legally it does have to be English now I have some medication myself this week that's from Portugal but when we dispense the labels, we actually, they, the manufacturers still have to put a um, English label on. And when we dispense them, we put our dispensing label over the foreign writing. So I don't think this is, has been dispensed for her. That's a very good, obviously, you know, coming from someone who's worked in this situation, kind of. 
also regarding the brown the brown bottles that I saw, um, we off, we would keep hundreds of those in stock, empty ones. So you know the the the, the um the bottles where you get loose medication, not in the um the pop out packs. Yeah. So if somebody only needed twenty eight of like a hundred pack, we would split the pack and then put them in those bottles. Um. So, but those bottles are readily you can buy them on the internet, no problem. Ah, oh, that makes because she obviously said that's where she keeps all her medications and yeah. it's all the same bottle. So obviously, yeah. I don't want to put like you know say well she's doing this she's doing that but it does make you question it does i mean it it it, it could go either way but with that amount of bottles i think she's probably bought them and the same with the saline it would legally have to have and it things like that i don't think they mess about with anyway but on medication tablets it legally has to have it in english if there's foreign writing on they have to cover it up and put it in english so I just thought I'd explain that. And if you need no, any that, more, that, that's if, really helpful. If you need any more info, just get in contact, and I'll happily help. A bit you're, shy you're here, the so man, the job, well, not the man. You, it's the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, drop me whenever. I don't know how to do it. So <laughs> you suck now. You're here forever. Oh yeah, no, you're not, you're not getting rid of us. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, read any info like that. I mean, I did it for 15 years. I know the rules, regulations, and the laws on controlled drugs, and mm. yeah, so yeah, all sorts. So could you just answer me one question, just a little bit off topic, then? Yeah. Just, just to make sure I'm not chatting shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, with um, rescue seizure meds, I think I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm 99% sure it is. The only licensed ones to have at home is the buccal midazolam and rectal diazepam. Is am I right? Um, as far like I said, I've been out of it for a year, but as far as I'm aware, yes. I thought so. I just wanted and, to make sure that I haven't spread any misinformation about that. That's all. No, that's fine. And the buccal um, midazolam, that's like a controlled drug as well, so she can't have too many of them at home. So no, we get a box of four when we yeah. get ours. It's usually four. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm su I'm surprised personally the police haven't done a check on her to make sure she hasn't got any control drugs that she shouldn't be having. Yeah. Because she like could be done for that. Yeah. That's what, what that's what I often think. They could catch her out that way, including things like gabapentin and um things like that. They're illegal as well. So the not illegal. Though, is is it dad is it all in dad's house because she herself and dad have both said he is the one who's in control of the medication and he gives it to her and you hear sometimes on live he'll say how many do you need and she'll say or oh, two and then she'll go actually i need three or another two for later or something oh gosh which is really concerning because he put himself in a position now where Obviously, people are questioning, you know, what she what she's taken. Exactly. But he's got himself in by saying, "Well, I control it." Yeah. Well, if he's effectively, he's a dealer, then, isn't he? So. Yeah. 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 In and my eyes, as a dispenser, he's a dealer. So. <laughs> but that that's my personal opinion. That's just my opinion, not anybody who runs this site or anything. So. <laughs> yeah. It's to protect you. So yeah. Yeah, and, and that's large, you know what I mean? Obviously, people are going to have their yeah. different thoughts and, and says on it. Says? Is that right? Different thoughts and opinions on it. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, we've never said no one can share their opinion as long as it's not, like, horrible, nasty. Yeah, exactly. I, I just wanted to protect you you lot as well, bless you. So, yeah. Yeah, so, oh, I appreciate yeah. that. It's nice yeah. to know someone does. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... um That's... Yeah, some of the some of the things she comes out when she's um talking about the different medications. I mean, some of those medications you it's called interaction. You can't take medications. Some of those that she says you can't take them together. So yeah. it's just I can't remember which ones now because. Did you hear the time when she told her it was um it was a good couple of months ago now 
But she told everyone they were going to put her on levopromazine for an anti-sickness. But she told everyone if she went on that, it was an end-of-life care medication and you couldn't be on any other anti-sickness with it. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh. And the amount of anti-sickness she's on is ridiculous. But she said you must be with her. They said that they wouldn't give it because she can only have that and not none other. But Carly's on levopromazine and andansetron. <laughs> exactly. You, you can mix, but she reckons she's on about six. Yeah. You have to be careful. She says she has IV cyclosine. I have oral tablet cyclosine. Yeah. Now, I've been told to be careful if taking painkillers with it because it can add effects of drowsiness yes. and sleepiness. But she's then saying she's taken two, like morphine and oromorph and exactly. cyclosine. And I'm thinking you would be conked out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not qualified enough to know the interaction interactions, but yeah. I know there's with the amount of medication she's on or supposedly on, there's definitely interactions there that could, that could possibly kill her if she really is taking them. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, cyclozine. Uh, you have to be careful of loads of medications with that. Yeah, exactly. It's I. I just. Oh, it sh it shocks me every time. I mean, what did I hear today? Um, oh, she made me she made me laugh. I saw a video today. She said she can't take naproxen, but she can take ibuprofen. But that's the same group of medication. The both ends. Well, stronger, isn't it, than ibuprofen? Yeah, but if you can't take naproxen, then you can't you can't have ibuprofen either. So that doesn't make sense. <laughs> As in, well, they're the same kind of, like, they're both um, ends. Yeah. It. Yeah. And because um, my brother's allergic to um, NSAIDs and he, he can't take them. And if she's got the issues with her tummy, they would irritate her tummy. Sorry, can yeah. I just say something? Um, yeah. I forgot to warn you. Not, not warn you, because that sounds really bad. But the Observer is recording this live. Oh, okay. Right, yes. I just, I forgot to say before you come in the box, I was meant to, and I've just remembered. Well, that's but, um, okay. I won't recorded. say any more then, just in case. <laughs> I forgot. But, yeah, it is being recorded. Really, really helpful. No, that's okay. But if you just message me anytime if you want to know anything. And I'll help yeah, if I can. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. All right. I'll let you drop me down because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 It it is good to get the you know the perspective on of people who may work like in a as a dispenser and stuff like that. Um, I think. When I was saying about the cyclazine and the pain meds, I was just saying from my personal perspective that I was told to just be careful with taking them together. Um, and when I do it, the side of, because the side effects can be worse. And someone said something about uh, serotonin syndrome. I know that can also be side effects from uh, mixing cyclazine with stuff. Um, but that wasn't in general for everyone. That was just saying that I was, you know, told to be careful with cyclozine because it can interact with some other meds in a bad way and make side effects much worse. Um, they have me on cyclozine prescribed the hydrocodone. Yeah, the, the, the I think it is a warn. I think it's it's with any meds that can, you know, make you drowsy, really, because obviously if they're making you drowsy and then you take another med, that makes you drowsy as well. But then some people don't don't get those effects off off the um the different types, so it obviously is based person to person. Um what next? Whatever you want to do, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, what else have we got? Um. Oh, that. Which one? Say it first. Hair wash. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember which of the ones that I can't. <laughs> so I'm like really nervous. Yeah. 
Just say them first, and I can say if yes or no. <laughs> yeah. So, Kirsten said that she can't wash her hair by herself. Her carers have to do it over the sink. So, why is she washing her hair at five past eight in the morning? At eight minutes past five in the morning, not five past eight. <laughs> <laughs> And why is she sticking a new tube up her nose at that time in the morning as well? And this is because she claims that she cannot physically wash her own hair and she washes it once a week in the sink with a carer. This is why we're showing this, because obviously she's claiming she can't do things, but then these things contradict that. Yes, only one tube. She was changing it and G change. If she doesn't need the tube, how does she do it? She has needed tubes in the past uh, due to something that I won't be mentioning. So she was trained how to use them. So she's obviously using that training to now place them. Because you can be trained to place NG, not J, NG tubes at home. <laughs> Yeah, no care is going to be... Well, she she says her care is at um, 10 o'clock and 5 o'clock. When this picture was taken, 5 o'clock and 10 o'clock. Um, 10 a.m. and 5 feet... F uh, 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. are the times she has her carers. So, yeah, she's... um She is washing... Did she ever say she was diabetic, just out of interest? She has said she was diabetic, but now she says that she's not diabetic, although she's borderline type 3. And there is proof she said that because she, comment she commented on a video saying, I am diabetic. There we go, we got, we got the reactions. <laughs> She's just said she's not diabetic. Yeah, she does. She, she has claimed lately she's not diabetic, but in the past she has said. Wow, that's a big hole. <laughs> what is girl? So, yeah, there's the proof that she knows she does wash her own hair. Where she posted that pic of herself. It's a secret. It is a secret. We'll do come to in a bit. Just yeah, we're just going to show some of these pictures just so we can disprove and debunk for any people who might still be on the fence about but what she is telling the truth. And um, her mum or dad could have came. That's not proof. I mean, you know. I find it hard to believe that her mum or dad would come round at 5am in the morning just to wash her hair. But we can't discredit that. I'm just saying that she claims only her carers wash her hair. But obviously here she is at 5am. Yeah, I'm um, Chinese. Can I just say that put, showing these um, pictures won't put anyone at risk at all? I can, I can assure you that. Yeah, we've had permission, and that's why we're not saying where they've come from or who they've come from. Um, Kirsty, Chinese or? Yeah, why not? <laughs> This one's more for shits and giggles than anything, not gonna lie. Yeah. So here's a takeaway man at a door. Uh, <laughs> this is a takeaway guy delivering food. Mm hmm. What the backstory? Like, we're not just. I should have put the other picture up. Not just yeah, that one. Put the other one up with it, because then it makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs>
So she was claiming that someone came to her door earlier with the takeaway. They, it was a troll order. Bearing in mind, this troll had paid for it. It had been paid for. Yeah. I don't understand why they're taking pictures of his number plate because he just he's just a delivery driver. He's nothing to do with anyone who ordered it. But normally when a truck, yeah, when, <laughs> yeah, if anyone wants to send me a Chinese and pay for it, I'll happily dox my address right now. <laughs> she said she was going to troll order me a Chinese and pay for it. <laughs> and there's I no did. wrong with Carla, she's alright guys, by the way, she's laughing and screeching and growling, yeah. being yes. Carly. Just doing what she does best. <laughs> Can you hear her? <laughs> She's like, yeah, mum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's well on one. I think I think that picture's from her ring doorbell, but um, but yeah, I just don't like. Normally, if a troll orders a delivery, they don't pay for it. They say, oh, it's cash. But this was just something we um. She's just said she's had nasal tubes for 20 years. Um, I want to show the, the scar one, yeah, the tummy one, but I think I might need to crop the SBC bit out. Yeah, definitely. Cover Let that bit up. That. Yeah, quit them. Yeah, I agree with that one. Now this one that she's going to show in a minute, when everyone, if, if everyone in the year has heard her say that she's had surgical feeding tubes in the past, yes or no? I'll do a little poll. Smiley face for yes. Sad face for no. So smiley face, yes. Sad face, no. Have you all seen when she said she's had surgical feeding tubes in the past? Double whammy smiley face is there. <laughs> God, I hope this works. And that, that uh, it's I can't crop it because it cropped the stomach out. So I've just put like a sticker over it. Not that it's showing anything. We just obviously, you know, I don't want to, like, I don't want to share too much. Even though you can't see anything, it's just a hand. Yeah. So, um, wish me luck, guys. This could be the end. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, that's fine. Is that fine? Yeah. Yeah. So obviously this is a picture now. Can anyone see the scars? She'd have big scars. I'm going to post the picture up now uh, alongside this with Carly. From, if, not from like having a peg stuck out, but from surgical scars as well. Yeah. And the stomach is just where it cuts off, like... That you you'd see it you you'd you'd see it, and also there's a lot of cannulation attempts that we noticed in this picture. But we do, we do know, and we do, we do know she has an SBC. We're not dis, dis, dis uh, sorry guys, can't speak. Not discrediting it. Not, you know, she does, she does have an SBC. So that is, so that is, that's Carly's, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 
I don't know if it's that clear, is to be honest, but you can see the yeah. star on a belly button. Just under the jed, you can see the little white scar just above uh, at the top near where a t-shirt is. Um, you can see quite a few scars on Kylie there. What's an SP? An SPC is a super pubic catheter. So it's a catheter through the abdomen at the bottom. Yeah. And like, where I've got the white scar, you, you can't really see nothing, but I just out of respect, you know, and not like that. Yeah, you can see Kylie's scars. Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't have no key or scars where. I'll see if I can get a clearer picture, do you know, where you can see Kylie's? Yeah. Give me one second. Yeah, no keyhole scars, you know. I'm I'm sitting in my bra, guys. I'm not. <laughs> I haven't got a top on, but I have got a bra on. But I've got a keyhole from appendicitis 10 years ago, and I still have the keyhole scars. And it is right where the belly button is, and there's nothing. No scars. The only thing you can see, and it's a lot clearer when the picture's full and, you know, it's not on a little screen. She has a lot of holes where it looks like she's been trying to cannulate herself. Yeah, so she'd have, she'd have scars. Is if that she's better? Can you see the scars on that one on Carly's now? <laughs> Yeah, you can find the belly button. You can see the one right under a belly button. You can see the one to the right side. You can see right. the one above. Yeah. <laughs> and I think anyone here who's had a peg J or any sort of stomach surgery, even keyhole surgery, you know yourself that the scars are there. And although they may not be as strong as they are, as they were, they are still. Considering she said she only had it a few years ago. Sorry, I'm going to mute again because Carly's being loud. <laughs> She's allowed to be loud. But yeah, we someone said about the subcut uh, when we were talking about this earlier. And this is just my thoughts. You know, from the... This isn't... I'm not saying this is fact. This is, and I know I shouldn't base it on thoughts, but you can't really see it in this picture. There's a lot of tiny little holes where it looks like someone's been, you know, trying to to get a sub cut in or something. Yeah, there is. I think we counted about seven, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. There was some down the side, and then some where it's blocked out, and it's a lot. She has an SBC from something previous, which we don't want to touch on because it's not it's not the right place. Um, but something that she, you know, she had to deal with when she was a bit younger. She's got an SBC from that, and it is she does have one. You know, we're not discrediting that. Oh, she definitely does have one. It's just the other thing she says she has, which doesn't really make any sense at all. Her account is not public. Her account is private. Um. So if you search her and she doesn't come up, you're blocked. <laughs> Pretty much. I have a massive hole from a port. What scars and picks hole. This is the thing as well. It's like, do you know when she goes live and she has like the string pajamas on? You you can't see any any scars on her chest from any port or central line or anything she claims to have have, have anything she she ha mm, anything she's claimed to have have had that is a mouthful <laughs> but she doesn't have you know all these scars the only thing we see are the little pinprick holes and the bruises which, you know, that doesn't really prove anything either side. I was sent on dialysis and that came out two years ago. I still got a scar. Yeah. And that's the thing, you know, scars. I wish they could just disappear quickly, but they don't. And we know that. And we know that. Um, I don't know which one to... I don't know which one to... I need to remember... 
Which I can, what I can't. Um, I used to have a scar from falling over in the playground when I was four. Isn't that strange how, like, you know, sometimes, like, a, you could literally graze your knee and still have the scar, like, years and years later. And it's just crazy to think, isn't it? Because, obviously, not all cuts and grazes do scar. I'm just going to touch up on the scars from Central Lines here. Yeah. Um, so, there's Carly's. Yeah. I'm not going to leave that picture on too long. You can see yeah. the Central Line there. Like everyone can see that, can't they? Yeah. Um, you can still see the white bit of the entry mark into a neck. Yeah, right there above where the phone shadow is. Yep. Yeah. So you can see that and then... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. I don't think you can. Is it bad the finger? Yeah, just a little bit further off. Yeah, I, I can see that. Yeah. Oh, sorry, kids are stressing. Because Kylie's kicking them. <laughs> if she had EDS, her scores would be bad. If we want to sit on live for a couple of hours each night, we are allowed to, whether we have kids, whether we don't have kids. At the end of the day, you know, I've seen, well, it was, it came from okay but you know saying that oh middle-aged women disabled kids and children sitting on live now what i don't understand about that is just because you give birth to a child does not mean your life stops like you, the kids are in sleep the kids are in school you're allowed to do have your downtime and you know go live and speak to people and do what makes you happy And see, these messages are really nice when, you know, people are saying you've improved your days and they've had a laugh. And that's what we do it for. We do it to, you know, help people and support people and just have a laugh. The world is very doom and gloom lately. We appreciate you too, Danielle. And I'm glad you're feeling a bit better today. Yeah, and we weren't going to come on today and do this, but when new information comes to light, we will show you this new information. We're not going to do it every day, you know what I mean? Because we're not going to keep going over the same things over and over again that we've already spoke about. Um, there's no point repeating ourselves. Um, no one cares I'm on the run. <laughs> You've been caught, Pips. Yeah, we don't care now, Pips. Um... So, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, that's we're not, we're not all about this and all about Kirsten. We want people to have a laugh, and yeah, I don't know what else to say, really. Oh, I don't know whether to, you know, the manipulation picture. Because no, leave that one. I'm gonna, but all it is is you know, for people who maybe are a bit new to the situation, she tends if she goes off on one or she's not nice, she manipulates the situation very, very easily. Very easily. We don't give her live info out either, Emma. We never do. We never say your name and a name's blocked for people writing it in here it's in the block words we never tell people what her live account is and believe it or not there's still there's still some people who are you know either falling for it a bit unsure whether you know what she's saying is true or not like i've had people message me before and say well you know i i do believe her but your videos make me question it and that's what it's about. It's about making people aware that not everything is as it seems when it comes to her. And we just don't want people to get caught in it because, you know, it, it's mentally draining. 
takes money off you and it's just not my situation hey hey here's the escaped no longer escaped capybara no 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 let's get this clear i have been located i have not been captured i've been located because the baby no <laughs> no 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 because the bastards put a drone up <laughs> They're using drones. I'm no, only a capybara. You're little, you should be able to hide. Yeah, it, it had thermal imaging. So oh, uh, just oh. to be clear, I'm not captured. I'm just within 200 meters of where they are. So you need one of us to drive up or yeah. down and pick you up and take you somewhere else. Well, this is why I was trying to get in the box because I was going to say, you know, come on, guys. Where's, where's like the support? It's like that program, Hunted. It is, except I've only got little legs. <laughs> and I've not and got a no pass. <laughs> what am I going to do? The prize is your freedom. They've literally found me that I'm in a field. They know that I'm where I am within 200 metres. So I've just got to keep shuffling round. Can you People confirm just... some of my pips? Uh, yes. What colour hair do you have? No comment. Brown. No, you don't. It's brown. No, I'm a capybara. <laughs> don't know what you're on about. Shut I've got wiry capybara hair, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Although you, you didn't have any hair on Sally's mug. Well, you're not bailing me out, you guys, are you? Like, I, I've, I've been on your lives. What? The Observer providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.